So this char paint project, this takes nine code units, three art units. So we're uh, our our proportion here is pretty good. It has three times more code than art, and we have a little over three times more code than art already. So just the one, just the one guy can do this. I don't know if he can do it in a respectable time frame, but if the quality is good, I would hope that that means everything is going to be okay. The desktop is so cluttered. Oh my god, Jesus. The desktop is meant to store things that you need to reference quickly, okay? Take it from a Mac user. The desktop is a place to use, okay? It's not just a pretty picture. It's a place that you use, okay? What's What good is this giant space if you're not going to use it? <laughs> I think that's game exclusive chill time, I guess. Yeah, maybe. See, watch. Watch this. Um... I'll show you what the message says. We have this, and we hit develop. It goes through alpha. We won't finish today, we'll finish tomorrow. It goes through alpha, right? Now watch this. I'm gonna go 0.69, promote this, pause. Okay, so it says delay. This is a little bit of, there's like a little bit of a delay between alpha and beta. If I say go to beta now, it tells me Ending the delay phase prematurely will often extend the beta phase due to the amount of additional bugs. I don't get that part. That's I don't I don't understand that. But if I let this play out, see, there's a delay between when you go alpha and when he starts beta. There's just this delay that's, that's like nothing's happening. And then he just starts beta, you know? But I don't I don't know what that's all about. That's that part would be interesting to have explained. The desktop is not supposed to store anything. It is too. It is supposed to be used, damn it. It is a tool. It is inefficient to just let this tool linger. You're a tool, Charlie. <laughs> Let's release this. Oh, the mod got disabled. <gasps> oh, whoa, wait. The mod is disabled. Wait, what? Okay, my understanding was is botched then. Apparently mods are not embedded into the save file after all, even though it totally it totally told me that in the beginning of the game. <sighs> Whatever, we don't have that mod installed now. Good to know, I have to upgrade it manually now. That's why it's busted. Gotcha, understood. Looked up the delay process. Looked up the delay phase on Google. The next stage is called delay, and it's just an intermediate stage that will last for a set amount of time, depending on the skill level of your employees. More skill equals shorter delay. This stage will finish automatically soon. That does not explain why the delay phase has to exist. I know. <laughs> why does it have to exist in the first place? I don't know. Okay, we got $89,000. We're doing pretty well here. We probably are gonna lack a little bit on the art department here. So I think I'm gonna hire my first employee. We're eventually gonna have two employees. We're gonna have an artist, let's go with 2D art, and we're gonna have a marketer who can market our products. But the marketing has to be better than just one guy can do. I want really good marketing. So I might hire two marketers. So let's take a look and hire some employees. I want Someone who is an artist who's good with 2D art. Now, low salary people have ranges between $1,371 per month and $2,300 per month. If I go medium, it's going to be from $2,300 to $3,600. And if I go to high, it's just people who want a lot of money. So I think I might start with low. I need to interview them for their overall skill levels. I also want to interview them for their personality and let's do specialization too. Let's just let's just get a good solid bearing on some people that we can hire. Begin looking. So this is who I've come up with. Since I've done all of the interviews, I know all of these different things. I know their specializations, I know their compatibility, and I know their personality as to whether or not they can be compatible or not. Uh, I also know their age range, their skill range, etc. And you know, like your art skill is pretty good here, but your overall skill kind of sucks. Um, your overall skill is better, and you have good compatibility with me, 
you're an introvert and you're cocky but you're not gonna get stressed out very good which is nice and you're fairly independent i like that and uh you're a fast learner so i can teach you too that's good maynard gross 27 you're hired all right now they don't start work till the next day so what we can do and i should have done this already actually go back into build mode we can add something next to the computer we have this art just drawing tablet which will help artists or actually it leads to a boost in that department um i'm gonna do that for myself actually here i'm not great with art so i'm gonna be faster with it uh then i'm gonna select the computer and this is what i really wish startup company and other games like this would incorporate the same copy paste duplicate selecting multiple things that this does because oh it's so much e it's so easy to build in this game it's so easy select the uh the chair the desk i hold shift uh, and also the computer and this little tablet thing right click and say duplicate now i have another copy of it let's rotate it <laughs> stick it in the corner here and uh let's do uh another desk here but i'm gonna swap out the tablet and replace it with a phone and actually i'm thinking the phone i probably want these things to go a little bit further back so let's move them back here so easy all right this is gonna be, this is gonna be where my artist sits we're gonna assign this to my artist this is maynard gross which will change the name to will change the name of in a second so i'm gonna put people who are in twitch chat into the game with me and i'm gonna say a keyword and you're gonna have to say you'd be the first person in chat to say that keyword that's how you're gonna get into the game. That's how we're gonna give it away. Completely unbiased. It's just whoever says that keyword first will get in. That's how we're gonna do it. I also want another light because I think eh, the lighting seems good though. And yeah, we don't need any more lights. We're actually fine. The window is providing a lot of light, so that's good. Um. All right. So for the marketer, which will eventually sit here, we have a telephone. Now, the phone makes noise. Let's check out the noise overlay. Everything in the office will produce a noise. Uh, when it does, we'll see this. And this tells you how much noise is being produced, as well as the number of decibels of that noise. And uh, people get distracted if there's not enough. If they if they don't have peace and quiet, they get distracted and stuff. So we want to keep the noise level where they're working down. For that reason, the marketer is going to be as far away from other people as possible. So she's got the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and move this person all the way to the back corner. Okay. Then I'm probably going to want another employee, honestly. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go like this. Let me rotate this to here. All right. Um, now he's going to be kind of right next to this. I can make that even less of an issue by just flipping this around. And now his chair is a little bit further away from that. Okay. Um, now I also I'm gonna have to cater to employee needs. The CEO of the company does not take bathroom breaks, doesn't need food, doesn't need water, he doesn't need any of that stuff. He's like the super, he's our one superhero, right? But everybody else is gonna have their own individual personalities and needs, and we have to cater to that. So for that reason, I'm actually gonna go ahead and lease this room. There's a room right here I can lease, and we can turn this into our little break room. So I'm going to have to provide some snacks and a place to relax, maybe. Everything I add has an effect on the office. So for example, this couch, it adds to the environment, so it helps improve the environment of the room, but it also reduces the effectiveness of employees that are in that room. That's okay. It's in a separate room. So we're going to go ahead and put the couch in right here. Okay. Now we're going to put up one of these big plants. I like the big plant because the big plant gives a bigger mood and environment boost than the smaller plants do. I actually have them marked as a favorite because I can never find these damn things. So we're also gonna do this painting. Again, improving the environment. If we click on the room, we can see the environment score. Max is 200%. So if we get to 200%, we don't have to add anything else to the room. Let's go ahead and find a vending machine. This has some noise. Also uses a little bit of electricity. It'll raise the power bill. But we're gonna put it there. Let's put a uh, a clock. This will improve the effectiveness of people in the room. 
So I can see a clock now. That's good. Um, I want to put a table in here. And I want to stick a espresso machine. This has a lot of noise. But it's in a separate room now, so it's fine. Um, uses a little bit of water. Uses a little electricity. Its durability decreases every month. Because we use it a lot. Uh, but it improves the environment score, so it probably will be good. 167. So we're going to put one of these pictures on the wall. Because I thought I was. Apparently I'm not. There we go. Uh, here. 200%. Okay, good. Properly lit. Got 400 lux. Properly lit during the day. We don't really need it to be lit during the night. But uh, when they come in early morning, they might want some light. So let's go ahead and add one of these lights to the room too. All right, that'll just give them some light in the early morning. So we give them a vending machine, a place to sit down, and we've got uh, the espresso machine that they like. And there we go. Okay, that's it. That will cater to my my employees' personalities, my employees' needs. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and grab this. Let's go ahead and duplicate this to a second. Yes. They'll be okay sitting next to each other, I think, for the time being. If they have a problem with each other, we'll put a little barricade between them. probably mean different things by testing environments since I'm not in the field probably don't use the ter correct terminology oh yeah 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 we got the got the the conversation going on we got we got smart people in the chat having conversations about what they do <laughs> enjoy the lurk not DJ Arnold appreciate your feedback and your input there man let's go ahead and promote this to beta since it's done again delay phase I don't know I don't understand it yet um, contract work since we have a 2D artist now, we can do these jobs at better quality and also faster. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and have this these two jobs be a thing, since we'll have an artist. That artist also will be able to work on this a little bit more co uh, coherently. And as a result of that, I'm actually going to dedicate you, change your roles. Every employee has roles. These are the things that they're going to do. If I select any role, they'll do anything, but they're less effective at each thing because they're spreading themselves out. I can in turn choose to have you only do programming and design. So that's all you're good at. I don't want you to do art. I don't want you to do marketing. And I think I want you to focus on programming unless there's design to be done. Well, I don't want that because then we might have things just sitting there waiting to be designed, but they're not being designed yet because there's still other things to program. So I'm gonna have these be both your main jobs. So if you have things to design for, you'll design them. If you have things to program, you'll do that while you're designing them. You'll do both at the same time instead of doing one until you're done and then doing the other thing, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, no artist for you. You're not good at it. I want you to stop doing art. So now we won't have any art progress done at all because there's nobody in the office right now doing art. But when the artist comes in, he'll do art and he's better at the art which means we'll have a higher quality art uh, presentation. Now we need three, we need three art units, and we're at one art unit now. So the the dedicated artist will be able to take two thirds of the art required for the project. Hopefully that improves its quality because he'll be better at it. Now he's not really great at art because I didn't hire a really high uh, costing employee, but yeah. Also, it looks to me like the room is a little bit cold. I would assume this garage has heating, though. I can't see what's inside this. Um, how do I tell the temperature of the room? All right, just perfect. So this 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 uh, house here it has central heating, it has central air, and all that stuff. So the temperature is climate controlled. It's kept perfect in here all the time. Lighting is also pretty good, although you know. Nobody's in here now, so it doesn't matter. During the day, it will be better. Uh, because you can look at all these things, though, and, and find weaknesses and find, like, you know, like maintenance. Bad. There's not a whole lot of maintenance happening here. So we could call a maintenance guy. Um, might be worth our time. Do so. Let's click this computer. It says that this is at 46% state. So it does need a little bit of maintenance uh, from IT as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call IT support. And they're going to come out right now while we're not here. And I'm also going to call a cleaning guy because there's a lot of dirt on the floor. I want to get that cleaned up too. So we have the maintenance overlay on right now. Let's go ahead and take a look. And as you can see, as soon as we clean things up and the computer gets fixed, it goes green. And we don't have to worry about that anymore too. So that's great. Awesome. 
I like it. So it's, there's so much depth to this, right? There's so much depth. Let's release this before we're late. I didn't forget. It's in the bottom left corner, Charlie. What's in the bottom left corner? 70, 70 Fahrenheit is perfect temp. Bottom. Oh, it says it right here. Okay. There you go. There you go. At a glance, we can see it. Thank you. All right. We didn't make a whole lot of money yesterday, but we didn't lose a whole lot either. And we have an employee today. So let's rename our employee. First person that says... You know what? He's wearing a red shirt. So let's say first person to say red. Say red in chat. You get to be this artist. <laughs> there you go. And it's going to be midnight. You're the first person I see on my list. Midnight gets to be the artist. So let's go take a look at managing employees. Uh, first, I want to make sure that my developer guy is using the right computer. So give me a second. Assign this to Charlie. Make sure he's on that right computer. This is going to be assigned to... Now we want to manage our employees. Let's pause this really quick. We want Maynard, go ahead and rename you. This is your specs. We're going to change the name to Midnight. Spelled like this. I'm just going to use a variation of your Twitch name. It's, it takes too long to have people tell me that they're actual names and stuff. So I'm just going to say a variation of your Twitch name. Aislinn. Okay, Aislinn Saber. You're the only one. Everyone else, we're going to do this really quickly. Since you already put it in chat. Uh, Aislinn uh, Saber. That's it. All right. If you have a preferred name, if you have a preferred name, feel free to put it in chat. If I see it, I'll do it. Otherwise, I I'm just going to whip through it quickly. I don't think it matters that much. Plus, a lot of you might get fired. Just saying. A lot of you might get let go. So, you know, if you're not the best fit for a certain project, it could happen. Just saying. <laughs> so anyway, what we want to do, we, right now we have Maynard, a.k.a. Aislinn. Aslin. We're going to change your role. So you're on the core team. And core team is going to be the only team for a little bit, at least until we move offices. Then we can have separate teams. For now, core team is the only team. You're really good at art, but you're terrible at everything else. So... I want you only focusing on art. That's it. I don't even want you to have a backup. Focus on art, and that's it. If we have marketing to do, you can help out with that too. Because um, I don't think marketing is really all that big of a deal for marketing. Like, your marketing skill, I think, just determines your speed, not the quality of marketing. I could be wrong on that. But you don't have any marketing skill. That'll be your secondary. In case the marketing team needs help, that'll be what you do. So you're only focusing on art. And as a result, we're only going to see art units go up. And art units are going to go up quite quickly. Uh, but there's no programming to do. Or you're just sitting down resting. Not available. No computer available. Wait, hold on. What? This is your computer right here. It's available. What are you doing, slacker? Is this computer bugged? Oh, you want a, you want an espresso. Is that it? What a slacker. All right, let's take a look at this really quick. Now, I have my I have my pros and cons for this feature, and I'm going to hold off on using it. But if we look at this team, you're going to notice there's a thing here that says leader. If you choose leader, this becomes the team lead. And the team lead, if depending on their leadership ability, has meetings with the team members to improve employee morale and effectiveness. Um, so it can make a stressed out employee feel a little less stressed by having that, that engagement. And we do that at meeting tables. In the garage, uh, there's actually no meeting table, so we would do it outside at this picnic table. This picnic table can hold four people. I don't want any more than four employees while we're in the garage anyway, but this is all we're going to have. However, the team meetings, if people's morale aren't bad anyway, if their stress isn't bad anyway, like this one's not, Satisfaction's already there. Like, the team meeting basically just gives them an hour and a half break. And that's that's time where they could be working. So I'm actually not a fan of it until you actually get a few people in the office, right? The name's Irish, so it said, like, Ash, Ashlyn? Ashlyn, gotcha. Blah, 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 blah. That's exactly what they sound like, too. They just say blah, 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 blah all the time. Uh, we don't have a whole lot. We need more light in here, actually, it looks like. 
duplicate this and pop it here. Three hundred and forty-five lux. Oh, the sun is the sun is coming up. That's why. It's really early morning. We don't need this. Sell it. All right. Now, what I should probably try to do is get game asset work as well. Let's have this one and this one. Two game asset jobs. Both of these jobs require 2D art, which this guy is specialized in. So we should see these numbers go up quickly on both of them, and he should be able to do them in an appropriate amount of time. Hopefully. If you can't do one more than the other, I'll have him prioritize one over the other just to make sure he gets one done, and then he can prioritize the other one. We almost got it done. May leave it four. Now, the thing I don't understand, they're leaving it four, right? But I have their departure set at five. Why are they leaving it four? Never got that. Never understood why they always leave an hour earlier than their departure time. Quit slacking off. That's all I got to say. Now, right away, right out of the gate, like this self-entitled brat, he wants a raise. He's like, you know what? I deserve $40 more a month. 40 bucks is nothing. He gets a raise. You get a raise, Ashlyn. Fine. 40 bucks. It was a modest request. Joke's on you. I would have accepted 80. Ha! Ah! All right. So we have enough art on this. Let's promote it. And then he'll focus on just this as well as this. No bugs to fix. Release it. We should easily be able to get the art done for this now. No problem. All right. Let's go ahead and pause really quick. So char paint requires nine code units and three art units. And we're like two thirds of the way there right now. It's looking kind of good. I think based on our current progress and how fast we're going, we could probably, we could probably release this. It's currently March, 1981. I think we could probably release this in December, but I really want to make sure the bugs are out of it because I don't have a whole lot of ways of support right now for this. I want to make sure it's bug free, have a smooth launch, and we're having hopefully pretty good quality here. So I'm not ready to market it yet. I'm not ready to release, have a release date yet. So let's just wait on it for a second. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not confident. Upgrade this art. As long as we are profitable every month, we can take our time with this. We don't have to be in a hurry. It's just me and Ashlyn. Very profitable last month. 14 grand last month. Woo! These graphic jobs. Get another one. Hell yeah. These graphic jobs are the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Stopping the music for the stream when the game music starts is, is interesting. It's pretty interesting. Get the art in. Look at this. He's going to finish it in the same day. Starts it. So fast. Promote that. Great. Released it. Promote this. It goes beta tomorrow. Already fixed four bugs. Fine. Release it. It's okay. Let's get a uh, logistics application in too. Now, notice our reputation. Going up because of our contracts. We're doing good quality work. Releasing it on time. Sometimes even early. That makes clients happy. And so our reputation is starting to go up a little bit. We want to get to like two stars before we release. But I don't think we're going to get there. Also, we're actually getting pretty close to our code units. So I think it's safe to announce a release date for this. It's April, 1981. I would like to release this. Let's say January, 1982. That's nine months. We put another two months into the development, uh, three months into development. We have six months of bug fixing. I think this is probably pretty doable. Let's announce that. Okay. We've announced a release date. We are going to release January 1982. The start of 1982 will be bright and bright future for us. Hopefully make a lot of money. We'll see. I have 121 grand. What I want to do... Let's accept two more contracts for a second. And uh, we want to get those designed if we can. They don't have to be great. But I do want my reputation to go up. Let's go ahead and kick it into development. 
Our art is going to be hopefully great. That's what I'm hoping for. We need great, great art. Now that we've announced the release date, we should probably start working on a press package. Uh, some, some kind of marketing that can boost us up and uh, really get us really get us noticed, really get us going. So let's look for a marketer. I'm going to go for a medium salary marketer. I tend to have a little bit more abilities. They'll work a little bit faster and they'll be more effective. Uh, I don't need their specializations. I just need their personality to make sure we're not going to have any problems within the office. All right, we have great compatibility here. That's a good sign. I like great. Uh, not a whole lot of leadership skill, but marketing. This is what you do. You do marketing. That's it. Hire you. Allison Kennedy, you're a marketer. Marketer is going to sit here next to the phone. Phone is going to increase her marketing effectiveness. So let's get her here. Okay. And we've got this done. Promote that to beta. We've got this done. Promote that to beta. It's due, in, it's due next month. No big deal. And we'll start marketing. And what we want to do is we want to develop a press release for this. I'm going to go with just text and pictures. It's not the greatest thing. Um, doing video is a good idea, but the problem with that is it takes a lot longer to generate it. <sighs> I mean, I think it's more effective, but it's also more money. I'm going to hold off. Let's just start with text and pictures for now. Let's just do that. Uh, yeah, core. Good. All right, let's take a look at our employee. We want to name Allison Kennedy. Put the name or put the, put the word, uh... Beach, B-E-A-C-H, beach. I don't know, I just looked at a picture of a beach. Beach in chat, you can be this person. It's gonna be Maltese. I see Maltese, you're first, buddy. All right, let's go. Oh, e That's fine. There you go. Maltese is the marketer. <laughs> Am I being ignored twice as I was first? No, no, no. Now remember, I see things before you do, right? So in chat, for those who are wondering, in chat, moderators will see messages immediately. But you as a chatter can see messages with a two-second delay. Okay? So there's a two-second delay in chat. Moderators see them right away. You see everyone else's messages two seconds after, which means when you leave a message in chat, you're going to see your own message first, and then you're going to see everyone else's two seconds later, okay? But I'm seeing them right away, and all other moderators are seeing them right away. It's our tool as moderators for a chat so that we can delete bad messages with a little bit of time before you can see them. So, yeah. So, remember of life, as a moderator, he sees the messages the same order that I do. I don't know if he can, if he can verify that Maltese is first, but he's definitely first on mine. But anyway, there we go. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. So when you see yourself as first and you go, oh my God, I'm first, why is he ignoring me? You weren't actually first. <laughs> but remember, Vlad can verify, Maltese was first. There you go. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go this way. It's a tool we use for moderation to make sure if there's something real bad in chat, we can see it right away and we have a bit of extra time to get rid of it. That's all before everyone else can see it. I'm not ignoring you. Correct. Yes. <laughs> all right. Maltese is sitting here. Now she is working up a press pass. Working up a press release. At least I think she is. If she stops getting up to get coffee, she's working on a press release. She's also very slow at it. What? You're incredibly slow. Dude. All right, hold on a second. Let's check this out. Effectiveness. All right, effectiveness. Let's go to state and skill. Let's really get into these employees here. Effectiveness is 144%. Now everyone's really compatible with each other, you know? Everyone's really compatible. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I get it. Maltese, we have to change your role. So right now you're doing programming and coding and you shouldn't be doing that. I want you doing only marketing. That is your only thing. You're only doing marketing. That's it. Okay, that's my problem. Okay, now you should be going faster. Ah, much faster. Much, much faster. You're not dividing your time. You're focused on one thing. I like it. Okay, 
Good. Uh, how is our maintenance in this room? 77% on this computer, 75, 77. Let's call IT. And I think we might be able to increase effectiveness. I want to I want to try it out and see. Let's see if it has any change for these guys. Um, so our current effectiveness is 123, 160, 144. If I change me to leader, this should increase the effectiveness of everybody. But it also means about an hour every day, we're going to take a walk outside and have a team meeting where we can go blah, 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 blah. Literally. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but blah, blah, this is supposed blah, to improve, blah, blah, like, blah, us. Blah, it's supposed blah, to improve blah, us as a team, right? Blah, so, blah, blah, we'll see how effective blah, blah, that is. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, but it just blah, takes, like, blah, blah. two hours to do that. So, if I take a look at effectiveness now, it looks like effectiveness dropped. <laughs> I think we became less effective. Maybe it's because we are going home. Let me, let me just go to the next day. I'm not, a, I'm not a believer that this leadership tool is good for this such a small team. Keep working, please. Uh, where is it? I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, right here. Okay, so let me see their, their effectiveness now. Okay, 123, 190, 165. So they are actually more effective than they were before. Okay. So they're more effective, but they take like an hour off every day. It's like, it's, it sucks. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna call the cleaning lady. Blah. I know that's right. I'm not sure we can let McDonald's get a hold of this. What do you mean? Are we just ignoring that Charlie's assignment is called McCow Dump? Oh, is it really? <laughs> Was it? Yeah, that's like a. I think that's uh. There's McChicken Incorporated. Look, McChicken Incorporated. Wait, what's the list of companies? They always have cool names. All the companies. Obviously, Prior Media isn't here. Obviously. We have Treat Corp, Slide, Cloud Studios, Beta Kingdom LLC. They never leave beta. We have Fish Trap. Oh, sorry. Fist, fist Trap. Like Fist Trap. Uh, Stick Reality Studio, Macro Camp, Alpha Street, Shadow Tap, Fancy Back Show, Flash Corp, Punch, Age Productions. They're pretty young. They're actually not. They're 10 years old. They're like one of the originals. There hasn't been a new company developed aside from me. Um, the latest company aside from me is 1977. So I am the new kid on the block. But there will be other companies developed or started after me too. Macro Camp is the oldest company. They're worth $53 million. They've had a 10,331% positive increase in their evaluation. That means just, just like your opinion, man. How good are you at marketing? I need to see. How good are you? Nope. Your marketing is your back, is your fallback. Um, I kind of don't need any more art. This product's almost ready, you know? I mean, it's it's really close. 9.0 is the code units we need. We have a little bit more art units than was necessary. So we're almost ready to kick this into beta. But to get an idea of how good it is, let's go ahead and do a quick review. A little bit skewed results and probably not going to be very good. But let's let the team review it. Let's get our team's perspective on things. Let's see what they do. So the team thinks, team thinks it's actually quite good. I This is more than I thought it was gonna be. Almost an 8.0. Um, the 2D art's a little bit lacking, but I did do two thirds of it. So that, that makes sense. The code is spot on. I'm really good at coding. So that's good. I think, we, uh, I think we're almost ready for beta then. We just need to get this marketing done, which is taking forever. Let me shift Maltese into, not you, uh, Aslan, Ashlyn. Let's have you not do art right now. Focus all of your attention right now on marketing. 
helping focus your attention on helping uh on helping Maltese. And you want to raise. Ashlyn, I think we're going to have to talk about your uh, entitlement issues. I'll give it to you. The prime of, prime of stability. Have a nice day, man. I have a caramel addiction. Come on. Get that up there. Get it up there. We need to get to $2,000. See why I don't do video? It would have taken like six times longer to do this. We wouldn't have even gotten marketing out in time, so. Okay, so code is up to snuff. Everything seems good and we're not doing any art anymore. So let's go ahead and promote this to beta. Kick it out there. So now we're gonna focus on fixing bugs. It's August, we're scheduled to release this in January. We're gonna focus on fixing bugs now. Of course, the delay phase happened all day for the rest of the day. No idea why, so. Hopefully the press release gets done. Like, you know, today would be nice. It would be really nice. Let me get it done today. Don't, don't take a nap. Don't take a break. Don't take a break. You got it. Cool. Release. Okay. So now, pause it. I want you to focus on another one. Can you get another one done? Be nice if you could get another one done. Um, let's try another one. When we do the press release, it's released, of course, to the press. That's the whole point. Uh, then the press, this is called the software or software times or whatever, right? The, every single report has a structure. It always talks about things in like the different, like in the same order and it's really bland, but you can kind of get an idea of public sentiment based on what they say. So target demographic doesn't really know who Prime ID is. Well, that makes sense. We have almost no reputation. We're brand new. Nobody knows us yet. Tar paint is being, is currently being developed and it's cutting edge. Why? Because it has all the all the available features. They're showing off the product with pictures, and it sounds great. They plan to release it in January 1982. Cool. Sounds great. That's positive. That's great. Um, we have 412 followers so far today, and uh, the follower count hopefully gets up to a couple of thousand. I would really hope so, but um, we may need another marketing campaign to do that. So let's do another marketing campaign uh, now. Now, there's nothing for the artist to do. So the artist is going to just fall back and try to help with marketing best they can. Because right now, well, yeah, that's all we have. We just have fixes bugs. The other thing the artist could do is we could let the artist try to handle any graphic contracts, but there aren't any available right now. So uh, there's that. I want my guy focused entirely on fixing bugs if possible. Now we are losing money every day because I've foregone doing any contract work. Right? I haven't been doing the contracts. So if we get game design assets. I want to get those done. It's it's a way of me buying time. But right now, I want to fix as many bugs as I can in this. And I'm the only programmer for this. So part of me also is thinking maybe we should get another programmer. Should I get another 2D programmer? Send artists for training. That's an idea. Once this marketing campaign's out, we will. I, I, need, the, I need their help to get this marketing campaign out in good time. I need this released. I need this released before our product is released, basically. Right now, he's helping with marketing. And it's going just a little bit slow, but I'm kind of thinking if we can really brush this. God, team building exercises. Ooh, the team building. What's the what's the employee effectiveness right now for this team? What's their effectiveness? It's uh okay, wow, 190 and 204. That's pretty high effectiveness, to be honest. So I'm thinking like these team building things, maybe they're, they are good after all. I'm not the best leader in the world though. So if I had a better leader or if I was a better leader, that would be good too. I need this press release to go out next month. Really, really bad. So I need them to get this done ASAP. Like it needs to go out this month. This month it needs to finish. Please finish it this month. No, Ashlyn, you called in sick. You suck. It was this month, dude. It was this month. I don't think we can get it done. Let's call IT and cleaning. Make our computers top notch, please. Get it done. Okay, hang on. Just to make sure this finishes. You. Your role. We only fixed 30 bugs. Now, I wonder if it's only 30 bugs because it's actually really solid software, right? I wonder if that's the thing. 
Either way, totally putting myself as a marketer to help. Uh, we'll fall back as designer and uh, we'll keep going. I need to help out. Don't have a team meeting. There's no one to meet with. Just, just have the meeting at your computer. Talk over your shoulder. Ooh, I need you to go up this month, please. Oh my God. You know what? It's fine. We'll release it anyway. It's not, it's incomplete though. It's an incomplete press release. We're going to have to release it next month, which we're going to have to. Uh, what we're going to do though, is we're going to send out a press build. So th the marketing will go out next month, which will be the same month that we release it. I would like to have had a chance to build up the followers before that, but is what it is. We'll put it out tomorrow. Uh, but uh, we're going to release a press build. That way the press can get a hold of it and give their input during the month of release to really get people confident. So we're going to send out that press build now. I think it's fairly it, it's fairly well developed, so there's not a whole lot of bugs. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's why there's only 31 bugs. This has got really solid code. Now, because we're about to release this, I want to get my employees back to their normal ways. Make you an artist once more. And Maltese, uh, let's have you do absolutely nothing. But I will train Maltese to be something else. But we need we need constant marketing anyway. So Maltese is going to constantly be busy. And I think maybe depends. I might hire a second marketer. We'll see. Um, let's pop this desk here. Just to see it's the wrong desk. This. We'll we'll see if this is if this is necessary or not. May not work well, but okay. okay yes, accept all the raises. All right, press re press has reviewed it. Let's check out, see what the press had to say. It might be the new big hit, and it has all the features. It might be the new big hit. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. At least I didn't put out half-assed marketing. But look, the press release was great. We quadrupled the number of followers, right? Because the press release was great. And it gives us time for people to read it and build up and start following the project. And it's all great. We can release this now and we will. Now, what we want to do is we want to have... Oh, here we go. Beta review. Uh, might be a new big hit. Yeah. Cutting edge, showing off the product pictures, and it sounds great. Good. So what we want to do is I think I'm going to send Maltese. Uh, we really need you. You know what? You don't have anything to do, right? You both don't have anything to do. I'm going to send you guys off to education. Educate employee. I want you to become a better artist. 2D art. I want you to become a better 2D artist. You're going to be focused. I'm going to lead my art department, Ashlyn. Lead the art department with glorious fashion. We're going to go three months. Get yourself specialized. Now, we need you to market, though. So, I'm going to hire another marketer. Because I need, I need marketing happening really well. Make sure you're compatible with us. This is good compatibility. Also, not that stressed. I like it. I like it. Uh, we'll hire you. Bernardo. The phone. Good. This is going to be Bernardo's computer. Um, I don't really want to block the door. This, uh, this office is very cramped. Depends on how the sales do, right? We're going to release it this month. So if the sales are good, we'll be able to afford our new office and we can start actually having dedicated teams. That will be great. Let's send you... Uh, I'm just going to send you home for the day, actually. We could have you hype it, but I, I think I'm going to send you home for the day. I don't want you bored. So... Uh, Maltese, have a good day. Take the day off. You did a good job. Have a good day. Uh, you send you home too. Have a good day. Everyone have a good day. You are going up to school. Bye bye. It's just with me, and that's it. So we have uh, so not it's ten o'clock a.m. Uh, let's do a contract job here. We fixed pretty much all the bugs, so let's get a contract job going. Wait, stop. Pause. We don't have any design happening. Bad. Because there's programming to do. Yeah. So do this. Okay, good. Naruto is a nice name. What? Hey, chicken. You have potato internet? 
non-potato internet happens uh, in 1983. Sorry. Let's develop this. Get some code in. We have lots of followers for this, man. Come on. Sell. You got to sell. You got to sell really well. Daddy needs a new car. All right. This is it. We fixed all the bugs. All we could. 35 bugs. Ready? We're going to release. Let the followers build up a little bit. Let it build up. Let it build up. Let it build. Let it linger. Do you have to let it linger? <laughs> a little bit. We're going to name the new marketer. We will. We will. Ready? Set. Followers are still going up. I'm going to I'm going to let it keep keep the crowd in suspense. The, the new the next big hit. All right, we're ready. Let's release it. I don't want to I don't want to like misclick or something. Release the product. Now, when we release it, we need to start a marketing campaign for it. We're going to say yes. If we have a zero budget for the marketing, it means unlimited attention applied to marketing, okay? It means we're going to put all the funds in it. And I kind of want to do that because uh, I don't want to limit our ability to spread this because of our marketing. We have $86,000, so we should be able to do a pretty good amount. And because we only have one or two marketers, we're not going to go over our available budget of money. So I think that's probably okay. So let's go ahead and hit budget zero. Now, do we have to sell? We have to sell copies. This is 1982. It's physical copies. So we want to order copies of our software. We don't want to over order. We'll spend extra money. We don't want to under order since they'll sell out and we won't be able to sell it to as many people as want it. It's not a big deal to sell out. It keeps it hype. Oh my God, they're selling out. When can we get it? When can we get it? If, as long as I don't have to wait super long, it'll be okay. However, I want, I really do want 40,000 units, but I think that's way overspending. It's, that's way overspending, I think. So we're going to start with 25,000 units. That's more than half my money. 25,000 units is ordered. Okay, so question is, at 12 o'clock, when the clock ticks over, how much money are we going to have? Because they start selling the next month. So cross your fingers and hope it's millions. Daddy wants his millions. Ho, 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 baby. Look at that, $971,000. And we're sell we sold out. We sold out. We're, we're, we're done. So go back to the releases. Charpain is a whopping success with great quality. As sparse uh, marketing, we're going to hopefully try and change that. Let's order some copies. Uh, currently, we have 10,000 in stock. So we sold over half of our stock. Pretty nice. Um, so we didn't sell out, but, uh, but we are selling at faster than we're producing is what that means. So um, let's order another. Well, if it picks up this much, we have 16,000 active users, users now. So um, I'm thinking probably we could order maybe 60,000 units, $120,000 but it puts us a really good cushion. We have a lot in stock. We're not likely to run out in the next few months with 70,000 units. Product was reviewed by the press. Let's take a look. Chart paint is extremely well put together. It's a very complex piece of craftsmanship and it runs very smooth. There's so much to experience and it's passable. That's the art. The art is the, the, art is the experience part. The art is passable. Keep in mind that uh, iHard Reach, iHard Reach, uh, has Frame Premium 3 on the market currently, which might attract interest, affect interest. We ran into quite a few bugs. It's okay. Char Paint is well worth the price. It's well worth the price, guys. So people are going to jump on this. Now, pause it really quick. You can look at our releases. We are currently on several different operating systems, right? We're currently on Bot OS, Int X4, and Next 4. However... Take a look at the operating systems that are currently out there in the world. There's a lot of, there's a lot of these. There are a lot of great operating systems. Um, I want to find the ones that have the most active users, which are all of these. And there are some of these have a lot of users, but I'm not compatible with them. So let's go ahead and see about porting this over to some other operating system, if we can. But the only one that's left is BotOS. Bot OS 2, which is a brand new operating system that supersedes Bot OS. This is the next generation of Bot OS. We want to make sure our program is compatible with the latest and greatest operating system that's flooding the market. So let's go ahead and port it over to that. 
reporting process takes a little bit and we'll dedicate some resources to it. But for the most part, that's great. Everything seems to be great. Okay, great, great, great. Everything is great. 